Hey guys, it's Amber, and I am getting ready to work on day nine. It's going to be a pretty simple layout. I'm just featuring a photo of a Christmas read that I got from my book of the month club. So what I'm thinking about doing, I'm on the back of day eight here. I have this little scrap of um, digital paper that I printed out for day eight. So I'm thinking about using part of that here on the edge. Any little filler. I did consider using this striped edge, which I've seen several people cut off and use. And I also considered this pattern paper, but it seemed a little busy with everything going on with the tree. And I didn't want to cut the stripe if I don't need to yet. So I found this card here in my stash. This is from the 3x8 journaling card set, and they're sized to be outside of the page protector. Now the problem that I'm running into is that it is pre-punched on the left hand side and I need it to be punched on the right hand side. So what I'm going to try to attempt to do is cut half an inch off here and then just mount it to this side. I know there will be a slight line, but I'm going to see how it goes. If not, then it'll just be cut off hidden and I'll use more here. But I don't want to like, you know, re-punch if I don't have to. So, um, my journaling is on the matte sticker paper from Mako. It's linked in my Amazon, and you can find all that stuff in my profile, you know, for this video uh, and the details. And then I also was trying to find a heart or something that I could maybe put on here to, like, mat. So, I found this ornament, and I think these were from the advent calendar two years ago. So I found this ornament and it's blue and it matches and it's a pretty good fit for my number here. So I'm thinking about doing that. And I found this stories, but I don't want two different things that say stories. So I printed out some hearts here from the digital version of the hearts. Um, I've created one that matches the book exactly. A green one and a red polka dot one to kind of match here and then I printed out some of these December books from a freebie that Allie gave us a while ago. So I'm thinking that I'll put a little heart down here and I also have a set of stickers from book of the month that came with my book um, and I was thinking about maybe trying to use one of those on here somewhere as well. I'm not really sure I don't really have a great place for it if I would put it anywhere it would be here instead of the heart so We'll see what ends up happening. So the one I'm going to work on first is this guy. I don't know why I grabbed my punch. I need my dry runner. So I just need to get the size. So it's three and three quarters. I'm just going to move it to this side and then use some score tape from behind to put it on to put it down. So here's hoping that it works. Oh, that was an epically bad idea. So you might notice there that I cut out quite a bit of footage of dealing with that piece. It was a, not a good idea to cut it off. It just did not look well balanced at all. And I was kind of bummed here as well. Like I thought that this went down really smoothly, but I'm definitely over to the right side a little bit too much. Um, I was centering with the holes, but not with what's going to actually be visible. So the ho the punched holes for the binder rings is a little closer to the, closer to the journaling than I would prefer. But um, overall, this is just, you know, a, a layout with trying to cover up some mistakes, basically. So I'm going to decide to go ahead and go with that blue heart on the bottom. And I'm cutting out the smaller of the two December books that I printed. Because I you know, printed two sizes based on which heart I might go with and how much room I had. So, um, I still really wanted to use my book of the month sticker though. Eventually I will get that layered on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just doing a little bit more smoothing down of that sticker paper. I'm going to go ahead and get that 
mounted to the back of day eight. I'm using the 1 8 inch score tape alongside of the holes. And then there was already score tape on the other side from patching it back up. So I just attached those two together. And then I have this strip here with a straight edge that was never cut and one that was. So I'm going to put the straight edge along the other straight edge. It's longer, but I'm just going to cut those extra pieces off before releasing the backing to the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my holes punched before I put any embellishments on. I tried to keep a good eye on that. It was definitely thick, but it went through. Otherwise, I would have just used my power punch if I needed to. So I'm taking the sticker and I'm putting it on a piece of paper, scrap paper, so that I have the ability to move it around. So I just trimmed that out and I'm just still kind of making some decisions. You know, seeing if maybe I could move that ornament around or if I could do like a line of embellishments and I just knew that it was, there wasn't enough space, it looked too crowded. So I'm pulling out my black label tape from Tim Holtz here. There's two designs that I have. One is just says Merry Christmas and one that has different Christmas related words over and over again. And I thought that that would um, help pull in that December books and the part of the plastic ornament that has some black on it. And then also help cover the holes in the line <coughs> that was trimmed off the card. So I'm just kind of lining it up, trying to see what I think about it. And before I can put that down, I want to get the photo mounted in the correct position. So I'm just adding some more score tape to the edges of that the quarter inch in this instance and I'm going to get the photo mounted down not quite yet though I think I'm still kind of playing around I even considered putting the book of the month on the ornament and the nine somewhere else I just the way the photo is cropped I don't have any room really for adjustments or really a ton of extra embellishing And so here I thought maybe I would remove the heart and go with just those other two layered together. I made a final decision on the label tape. I'm going to get that cut. The photo finally mounted down once I'm making decisions. <clears throat> and then here I just, I didn't want any of the words cut off, so I just kind of um, placed it where there was two spaces between words so that it looks nice and even on both sides. So I'm just pulling the backing off of the tape and then I'm going to get that mounted down here in just a moment. It went down pretty smoothly. I was able to pull back just a little bit um, to adjust towards the top, but I, I like the way it looks. It came out really nicely. So here is where I finally decided to go with all three of those items as a cluster. So the December books, the Book of the Month sticker are going to layer on top of that little blue heart. And I found that I didn't really like that teal blue ornament once I had the book and the blue heart, which were an exact match. So I printed out another little color block and used my two inch punch to cover the ornament. Uh, I had another one in my stash with pink and white stripes. I decided to cover that one instead of the, the teal and save that one instead. And now I'm just using some score tape on my number nine. Um, and getting all the other little embellishments mounted down as well. I did attempt to put some ribbon through the ornament. Uh, it just did not look right. Twine didn't look good. My fatter ribbon did not look good. Um, I think it was a proportion thing because the fatter ribbon was just way too big for the space that I had. So um, hopefully you were inspired to try to tell some interesting stories. This one was a rough one, but we made it. We got through it. And uh, I like the way the picture came out. I kind of framed it around the ornaments there in the way I cropped it. So um, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you for day 10.